Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's Google My Business video, I would like to discuss a very important aspect of your Google My Business listing, how you can write out a excellent Google Business description. So that will be in today's video. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into what I've just created here. Now I'm using myself as an example, and I just want to cover each aspect of this description but first you have 750 characters that you're able to utilize each of those characters should be utilized so the next thing that I want to discuss is each of these primary keywords secondary keywords any service or services and each of the details should be also on your website I'm sure that you've noticed before this keyword it'll highlight a keyword has been mentioned on the website this is creating relevance for your brand or service. It's a trust metric. It applies to your spam score. You know, when you get done writing out your description for your GMB, this should be what is spread across your citations, whether they're unstructured citations, whether they're structured citations. You know, this description should be spread across and duplicated across the web. It's part of your citations. This is a huge flag for Google as a trust metric. So let's now get into this business description. And I didn't finish all of it, but there's a lot of key elements that I want you to grasp the concept of. I want you to understand so you can write an optimal business description for your Google My Business. All right. So first and foremost, what I led in with was my business name. Generally, your business name may or may not have target keywords inside of it. But I always like to start off with a business name or, as you can see here, the very first thing that I put was a city modifier. All right, I'm going to underline important pieces and then I'll explain why I put them in there and why you should too as well. So I put a city modifier with a state. All right, so signifying that I'm within a city, so, and this is in the very first sentence. The very first sentence is very important. Remember, Google, just like humans, read the same exact way. I put Tamaqua, Pennsylvania, so I've, I've done a geo modifier, a city modifier with the state. Then, I, I know that's the very first sentence, but it, it's that first little piece. The number one best. Now I use the word best. You can also use the word top. I used it down here. And, and I feel that it does provide a slight edge because people are searching for top, best, number one. So moving on, the next thing, and this is important. So you want to have your primary category within the description. Now generally, especially for me, you know, SEO, SEO agency that isn't really a choice, but internet marketing is. So I need to make sure that my primary category, and this is very important, all right? This is very important, and this is very important, all right? You need to make sure that that's inside of your description, preferably up towards the top. Now, the next piece is and SEO agency. So I'm targeting my primary keyword, my actual primary keyword. This should be on your site somewhere. It needs to be on your website as well as in the description. And then it should be a web design service. So now we're looking at a secondary keyword. All right. So now we have a secondary keyword and then we're going to get into, I put in service and then company. So this time I use service. This is important. Web design service. And then I put company with services see services that's a different search so web design services web design service web design company web design service company web design services right you see how it's i've gotten all of them so these are variations of secondary keywords very important so i, I like to put all the variations this is key and at the end of this video I'll put what I feel is going to be most beneficial now. So I put businesses reach their business potential. Now I'm, I'm having it read legible, but the key here is to have all of the keywords, all of the secondaries, all of the primaries within the description, along with making it make sense because I want to use this as my citation. So it's covering everything. So reach their business potential. 
skilled, all right? Or you could use a word like expert. I'm, I'm looking for ways people are searching, all right? So I know that skilled manager comes up, expert manager. Uh, these types of words, it depends on your niche. Four, now we're looking at more secondary keywords, which would this would be right in line. So SEO agency, web design, and then bam. So we have PPC advertising, management, all right, along with social media marketing. Now this is another secondary keyword. We're, we're triggering on all of those search fronts, right? I, I hope, hopefully this is making sense. Now I went into another category. This is a secondary category. Our top, just like over here with best, all right? These types of words are how people search. And if you search top SEO agency or best SEO agency or expert SEO agency, you're going to get different results. So I want to add these variations inside of there firm all right now firm is another way to search this is important people are looking for agency company firm right they also look for expert top best helping national seo now we're starting to get into more secondary keywords from and then instead of me writing city 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 so what i would do is seo clients from a city to a city and what we're doing is on your map if you have a service area I've, I've gone over this before all right let's say that you're in a city I'm just gonna do a quick little drawing right here all right let me just come right over here and, and just so this makes a little bit more sense so say you have a service area Okay, and, and this is what I mean by city to city to city. So Mexico City, Tolca, Caluca here, Puebla, Tecasia, and then Shangan City, or maybe I'd come up here, look this one right here, Actapan. See how they're a little bit bigger? This would be the service area that I would create because these are bigger cities, right? They are within my vicinity. And, and the point I'm trying to make here is you want to add all of these cities in and also add those into your service area uh but let me talk about what's next here so we talk about all the cities so this whole portion is very important to have that geo relevance because this is how you start sending your traffic very 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 important so then i'm putting call right call for and then what i'm adding is all of the services that i offer anything that's on your website even if it's a small keyword this is where you're putting your secondary keywords all of them and and let me just hit on the key points that i feel are going to be most beneficial for you all right so what i want what i would make sure of and what i would do is is this so the number one thing that i would make sure i do is i get all of my main keywords all right, get all of the main keywords, then get your secondary keywords. All right. Now, these could also be your services. All right. Depending on the type of niche that you're in, it's probably going to be services. So you're gathering up your main keywords and secondary keywords. Then I would make sure all of those services, right? So their services slash their keywords now, all of these things are on the website they need to be mentioned somewhere it's a relevant what page even if you just create a page index it and just list everything that you do in, in text it doesn't matter it needs to be on your website somewhere it has to be now after that what i would do is i would think sit down and make sure that your gmb areas correspond with the description all right so anything that you're listing in your service areas right like i showed you on make sure that those are listed in your description and again on the website super important now after that we need to start looking at variations you need to look at variations and what i mean by variations and i'll give you an example would be a variation of a keyword like business or businesses right so business and businesses service and services all right and then i would start looking at what other ways are searchers like what's the search intent so in this example what i mean is are people looking for top 
Are they looking for best? Are they looking for expert? Are they looking for agency? Are they looking for company? Are they all of these types of words need to be in there and all of their variations. Now, along with that, you need to make sure, and I'm just giving a brief list here that your phone number's there. All right, a call to action. Make sure that you're listing your primary, primary, right? And these are in no particular order at all. I'm just, as I'm thinking to myself here. Uh, so your primary category should be in there. Also your secondary category. And, and what I mean by this is the category for GMB. So your primary and secondary categories for your GMB, whatever you have listed as your categories, they need to be within the description. Also make sure that you have them somewhere on the website. Now, after that, I would make sure that you have, and, and again, these are in no order. This should actually be at the top like I discussed uh, during the video, but you need to have the city slash state. Talk about especially where your primary location is primary state make sure that's in there i pretty much covered everything my name is chris palmer always feel free to ask anything in the comments below and i certainly look forward to seeing you in the next google my business video have a wonderful day